welcome back to the Red and White Army YouTube channel. Today is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, meaning it is Salford away. I hope you all had a nice Christmas and I hope you all got what you wanted. But now that Christmas is gone, let's talk about today's game. It's Salford away. It's going to be a first time experience for me going to this ground and it's not just going to be me, it's going to be a majority of the away fans today. Unless some of them went to the FA Cup Youth uh, Trophy. Um, where we played there a few months ago, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot of people's first time today at the Penentia Stadium, I think it's pronounced, um, or more commonly known as Moor Lane. So uh, it's only a little ground, and thankfully for me, it's not too far away, um, so it's only a drive, but obviously there's no trains on anyway, so we're going to have to drive. Um, Salford sit 14th on the Skybet League 2 table going into today's game. Um, from what I've heard on social media from some of their fans that their home form is pretty poor um, and they're likely to get battered by us today. So, you know, if we could do another Stevenage and get like a 5 1 win or something, that'd be incredible because obviously early on in the season uh, we beat them at home 4 1. That was a really good game. Um, obviously, Tom Lowry scored that cracker of a goal with the, uh, the little flick and then just took it through. Um, so, you know, if we can get something like that in front of the 1300 away fans today, that'd be amazing. Um, the atmosphere should be pretty good after after Christmas. I'm sure there'll be a few on a hangover, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, about self, though, you're not allowed to drum into the ground, so that's a bit boring. But um, I'm sure if we're all vocal, uh, we'll be still be louder than then. So uh, yeah, another good win today will really do me. Get us back up that table, possibly get into second. Um, so, you know, it's all going in our favour so far. So uh, let's make our way down to Moor Lane or the Penantia Stadium, as you pronounce it, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's hope for three points. Come on, you Reds. Smack it up! Not at him! Go on! Go on! Go on! Salford poor that's all I can describe it as Go 
on. Oh. Keep it on the deck. On the deck. Yeah. Come on. Where's that going? Come on! Come on! Come on, kick it! Oh, shoot! And honestly, that is a game to forget. That was nothing compared to our Lincoln City at home game on Boxing Day last year, where we beat them 2-1. Um, it was the complete opposite. We were a disaster. The, the defence was awful. And my only conspiracy for that is to think that's because Eddie Nolan was out, the experience. I know we have Nicky Hunt, but Eddie Nolan and the Nicky Hunt partnership works so much better than Hunt and then Bulu. Um, and Bulu, I don't know what he was doing for that second goal for them. You know, he, he was struggling to hold on to him and he just turned and took it inside and bang, it was in the bottom corner. We were like 2 0 down in like 10 15 minutes or something like that. I, I just, honestly, I was lost for words. I couldn't believe what was happening. Um, never mind what I was seeing during the 90 minutes. Um, it was just a disaster. No one was on it at all. I think they've had too much fun at Christmas and they've just not thought or paired very well for today uh, yesterday's game um that's the, that's the only thing i can think of um but we really missed the experience yesterday like nolan and green with them being out injured um well that's what he said anyway but you know it was so annoying because they, they were all on top of us and to be fair you would have thought salford were in the top three the way they were um tearing us apart basically um i mean they're number 23 or 28 or something like that. Um, he, he was absolutely shredding bits down the wing. Um, I think he scored the second one as well, if I'm um, not mistaken. But, you know, they had some decent players out there. And uh, But the one disappointing thing about them was they were time-wasting after 15 minutes when they were 2-0 up, which was just ridiculous. So uh, the referee was giving out some yellows for that. But, you know, I can't believe we lost 3-1. Like, when we, when we pulled our goal back... Um, the two one with Pickering, I really, really got my hopes up, and then obviously a few minutes later on the other side of the field, Wintle puts in the back of our own net. So that is a Boxing Day game to forget for me. We obviously have another game coming up very soon on Sunday. Uh, that's Scunthorpe at home. That's going to be another tough one because uh, Scunthorpe have really turned it around now, especially to where they were at the start of the season. They were really struggling. And, uh, you know, they've picked up a, quite a bit of form recently. They did lose 2-0 yesterday at home to Walsall. But um, I'm sure that I'm pretty sure their away record's a little bit better. Um, but, you know, it's football. Anything could happen. There was a few um, bizarre results yesterday where you would have thought these teams would beat them people. Um, and some teams wouldn't expect to beat them, but they did. Um, so it was a bit of a mixture yesterday. Swindon still in form. Um, they're doing really well, and we go away to them not uh, not too long, actually. Uh, I think it's just in the new year. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm looking forward to that one because they've really picked up since we've played against them. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get three points on Sunday v Scunthorpe, and then I think we play Carlisle um, a few days after that. So, if we can get six points out of these next two games, that will do me. Um, like I said, it was just a disappointing game yesterday. No one was on it, so hopefully Artel has a bit of a walloping and uh, gets them playing again. But uh, yeah, 
I'm a bit annoyed, but you know, it is what it is. So uh, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be Scunthorpe. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.